people from all around the world watch this channel. And sometimes when I'm doing a live stream or I have super thanks or whatever they're called on regular videos enabled, someone feels generous and someone feels like my videos, my content is worth their money and feels like sending a tip. And I appreciate every single amount I get, but sometimes I'm curious to know how much was actually sent because I am not well versed in currency. Anything that's not a dollar of some kind, a euro or a pound, I have no idea how much that's worth. So I want some way to convert that currency. And today we're looking at a very simple tool to do that. This is called Forex. So if all we want to do is convert one unit of a currency into another, that's pretty straightforward. So Forex, the input currency, so let's say the input currency is US dollar, and then the output currency or the from and the to currency and right now, one US dollar is worth $1.40 Australian. Let's try something else. Let's try something like the Great British Pound. And that is $1.89. But a lot of the time, you don't just want to have a single unit. In which case, what you can do is include an extra option. Now, when you include options, make sure they're at the start or at the end. So when we have, say, USD and AUD, if there is anything between this, it is not going to work. So the option we need to use is dash Q for dash quantity. So then let's say we have 20 of this. So that is going to be $27.97. Now, if you look at that number and think something seems off, that's because it is, because by default, it's going to do rounding for anything above one unit. So if we want to get rid of that rounding, what we can do is pass in the dash F option and now we can see it's actually $27.99.67. And obviously currencies change throughout the day based on how they're being traded and all of that fun stuff. So the numbers will change between the different runs. This is intentional. This isn't the application not working the way it should. Now being called Forex, it's obviously not just being used for traditional fiat currencies. We can also convert between various forms of crypto as well. Now this is based on the Coinbase API and the free version of that API doesn't support every single coin available. Most of the major coins are going to be in here though, but there are some notable exceptions. But if I wanted to do something like, let's say someone sent me, uh... I don't know, half a Bitcoin, for example. So half BTC into AUD, we can see that is worth $30,000. That would be a very generous person. So let's try something a little bit more reasonable. Let's say we have uh, 0.01 ETH into AUD, and that is $44. And obviously, you can go between cryptocurrencies as well. So you can go between, let's say, ETH and BTC. So right now, one ETH is 0.071 BTC. You can go from a traditional currency into BTC and all that fun stuff. Basically, you can convert stuff however you want. Because there is a limit on what is being supported right now, if you want to see everything that is currently supported, run Forex dash dash list. And you get this. Now, this isn't a great list. What I would like to see is take this list and then format it in a sensible way. Firstly, split the traditional fiat currencies from the crypto because right now the list starts here for the crypto, but it's just blended into this list. The only reason I noticed it is because the alphabetical ordering restarts. And the other thing to do is give full names to the currencies here. Maybe have that as a separate option because seeing this full list is useful in its own ways. But sometimes I'll receive a tip in some random currency I've never seen before. And sure, knowing how much it's worth is certainly great. But I'm also curious about what the currency actually is in the first place. And that could also be useful when... I don't remember exactly what the symbol for the currency actually is, but I do know what its name is. That would make it much easier to sort through this list rather than be like, okay, is it AMD, ANG, AOA? Which one exactly is it? And for functionality, that's basically what it does. When I said this is a basic application, I really meant it was a basic application. You have conversion, you have the list, you have formatting, and you have the amount. 
That is all. Now, when I mentioned that some currencies are missing, so most notably, things like Monero or XMR, the Binance coin BNB, and other things like that. What I've noticed is for the first page on the Coinbase website, pretty much everything there works. On the second page, it's more like half, and then after that, it's really hit and miss what currencies are actually going to work. I don't know why Coinbase's API works like this, but I did submit an issue on the GitHub, and the developer is thinking of adding in the option to support other APIs and things like that to make it so it does actually provide more useful information. For any coins and currencies that don't exist within this API, you will get this error message right here. Invalid currency, and then whatever the name is. It's not a matter of having it in lowercase or uppercase. Either way, does not work, and it's just a problem with the Coinbase API. Now, even though that will be kind of annoying for some people, for my use case, I don't think it's that big of a deal, really, because I'm not really going to use that much of the crypto side. My main focus is converting one fiat currency into my local currency. And from my experience, I don't know if it's got every single currency on there, but from my experience, nothing that I've tried seems to be missing. So what I may end up doing is what I do with a lot of these random applications that I don't really want to use the terminal every single time I want to use it. I might go and make a dmenu wrapper script. So basically I use dmenu as my input prompt and then once that's run, it shows me the results inside of a notification. I've done this with my calculator and other fun things like that, and honestly, it's really, really convenient. It's not the most, you know, efficient way, because, you know, terminals have auto-completion and fun stuff like that, but it works well enough. If you want to go and install this for yourself, it is available on the AUR and also through pip because it is a Python script. So this isn't an investing tool, it's not going to have charts and all of that fun stuff, but for what it does, converting currencies between other currencies, I think it does everything that it needs to do, especially for my use case. Maybe you disagree, and if that's the case, I would love to know why in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, Sterling Bearer Pay, linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me, so I'm out.